Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't mind how crazy I look. I really have not been like in the mood to do anything with my hair here lately because it's just getting longer, it's getting crazy, and I just don't care. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to do my August favorites. So let's go ahead and get started and I will start off with the clothes because I'm wearing a couple of my favorites. So I have bought quite a few t-shirts since I've been back home. The little graphic t-shirts with the old music logos on them. So I got this one and oh my goodness I love it. I love it so much. And then I've been loving these kind of shorts. They're very, very stretchy. And so it's just been very comfortable for me because of my growing belly. So I also have these as well in a different color. I really need to get some more of these because they really are comfortable, like so comfortable. And here is another shirt that I also got Boy Mama from Sun Up to Sun Down. I really like this shirt. It's so cute and it just, Boy Mama. The sandals, I got these sandals from Walmart for, I think they were like five bucks or maybe they were seven, I can't remember, but I got them for really cheap and they're like so cute and so comfortable. Whoops. And then of course, I damn masks. Okay, so there's this one. This one, it's got like a little nose piece. Wait, hang on, it's upside down. A little nose piece like right here. And then just like a little paisley one. And then my stitch one because you know me, I love stitch. Now for my belly, which I've been showing, I have the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula and Moisture Care Cocoa Devon Body Oil Gel. These are the two things that I put on my stomach after I dry off out of the shower to prevent my stretch marks. I have stretch marks on my stomach, but it's from just being like fat. But the thing is, is they have like grown just a little bit, but this has really helped my stomach, like keep my stomach very moisturized. Now the lotion that I put on my legs and maybe sometimes parts, other parts of my body, but is this, I've been using this one. I love Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works is my favorite. I just, these are the kind of creams. I like the creams better than the little bottle, the bottles of lotion, but the body cream is what I use. Love these. Okay, for my hair, the shampoo that I've been using is this Brazilian keratin therapy, I guess is how you say it. Shampoo and it's Ever Straightening OGX. I try all kind of the, like these out, try, okay, what am I trying to say? I try a lot of these out all the time. And so far I've liked like every single one of them. I do like that, the one I showed last, my last favorites and the like coconut milk one or whatever, the white one, the white and blue one. Anyway, and then I have been using a new leave-in conditioner and it smells, okay, it smells so good for one. And two, it just, it's, it, I feel like it makes my hair look so good, but it's called Heritage, I believe is how you say it. And it just looks like this, but I love it. I really do. And then whenever I straighten my hair, I obviously, I put, put this on my hairbrush and then brush my hair and 
before I straighten, put any heat on my hair, this is what I use. And then if I don't want to wash my hair, which I didn't wash my hair today, in fact, uh, and I used my dry shampoo. This is the dry shampoo that I uh, got to try out and I actually really do love it. It is uh, the one the one with the hint of color, divine dark. But I like it a lot. Now for my makeup remover, you guys already know if you've been watching my videos, it is the Neutrogena towelettes and the Pond's cold cream. So yeah. And then some of my favorite makeup products, I have been using a new primer and I got the Blemish Control Elf primer. Love it. And then, of course, I've been wearing lipstick a lot here lately. And my favorite lip liner is this uh, Rimmel and it's the uh, 049 Natural, or is it Neutral? Natural uh, lip liner. And then I love this e.l.f. This is what the, uh, what I have on right now. I love this e.l.f. Uh, natural, but these two things are what I have on right now and I love them. And then also before I put any makeup on, I put this on my lips. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, it's, it's a NYX Bear With Me and it's a cannabis sativa seed oil and it's just a lip conditioner. So this goes on my lips before any makeup gets put on my face. My iHome speaker, Bluetooth, changes color. I love this thing. It is so loud and it just, it works so good. Lasts for a long time. I You charge it up and then, I mean, it lasts forever but I love this. They make the different sizes, different shapes and stuff, but I got the smallest one. Uh, so yeah, my vitamins, if I can get them, vitamin C, and then my Alani New prenatal and fish oil. And then, okay. I keep forgetting to grab it, but I've been using my Starbucks coffee, or my Starbucks coffee. In my coffee, I use the Starbucks creamer, the Caramel Macchiato creamer, and it is just so good. I love it so much. Cherry juice. I ran out last night. I'm going to have to, I'll be skipping a night. Cherry juice, the tart cherry juice. I get the glass bottle from Walmart and I drink like about this much every night before I go to bed. That's what I've been doing and it's so good. So delicious and cherry juice. It's got a lot of sugar in it, but it also has, it's got a whole bunch of benefits of what it does for your body. And so drinking just a little bit before I go to bed at night, it's so good. Now, I haven't been using my Hydro Jug anymore. I have been using this cup, uh, whatever you want to call it. I got it before I went to the beach uh, after I graduated high school from Target, I believe. And then my friend Hannah got our names put on it because we were like matching or whatever before we went to the beach. So this is, this bottle's from Target. Who knows if they even have any more, but, and this was probably like from Etsy or something. I'm not really sure, but I've been loving this thing. Keep my water in it, keeps it cold all day and it works better than the hydro jug. Now the last things are like my books and stuff. Ooh, okay. So, what to expect when, ex okay, what to expect when you're expecting, I obviously have not read, like, the very beginning, because uh, it just talks about, like, first trimester and stuff like that, but I have went through this, 
and you know it's helped me just learn different things that some things that I haven't seen yet so this is good the enemies got a childbirth this has like what is it true stories in it from other mamas and just all kind of stuff so been really enjoying reading those and then of course I showed I've showed these two already the little baby journals that I fill out cool questions answers and stuff like that and then of course this notebook that I have had since I got back home I keep like all of the information in just everything in this notebook and just keep everything organized so that is all of my favorites for August. I will try to link as much stuff as I can down below, as much stuff as I can like find and that I feel is really necessary to link down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.